Hi, this is Wally Kern with Supreme Gecko, and today we're going to look at one of the arguably cutest geckos out there, Teratolepis fasciata, or better known as the turnip tail or care tail gecko, uh, best known as the viper gecko. So today we're going to look at a gecko that can comfortably sit on a quarter. Stay tuned for some very interesting information on the viper gecko and a couple of tips that you might not find anywhere else on raising some baby gecko, viper geckos. Let's go ahead and take a look at the vipers. I keep them very in a very simple setup. Uh, again, these are a Pakistani area gecko, and uh, we keep them in these 12 quart tubs. See if I can move this around without disturbing them too much. I'll get a quick shot of this and we'll move it somewhere where we can take a better look at the enclosure. Um, very simple, a, hide, a couple of hides, uh, some cork bark, little little plant just for decoration, and a water dish, very, very shallow water dish, and some yellworms. So I'm going to move this over to an area that we can take a look at the geckos, the viper geckos, and uh, see what they're doing. Okay, a little bit better light here. I'm going to remove some of the decor, and we'll take a look at these viper geckos. Again, they're, they're a very small gecko, not a lot of requirements here. I have a sand substrate, and that might be a sensitive issue for some, but I've never, ever had a problem with these geckos being kept over sand. As you can see, I have a, a dish, a mealworm cup here with uh, some small mealworms and some calcium. They'll eat out of this dish rather than uh, eating the, the uh, mealworms or small dubias or uh, small crickets out of this dish rather than eating it off of the substrate. So that minimizes any risk of impaction. Let's take a look at the geckos. And here we see the male and the female. You can tell males from females, they have a, a small bulge at the base of their, their tails. And again, these are very, very small geckos. I'll see if I can pick one up just as a little bit of a reference on how, how small these guys are. Very cute. About once every two weeks, I'll go through and I'll dig through the substrate gently looking for eggs. Eggs are super small, about the size of a, not even the size of a Tic Tac. And uh, we'll put the eggs in, an, uh, in, in a cup and put, it, put them in our incubator. And they usually incubate for about uh, two months. So let's go ahead and take a look at some babies. And I'm going to share a couple of tips on caring for the babies that are very, very important that um, many people might not know about, and it certainly will save the lives of a lot of viper geckos, babies, if you're keeping these. We'll be right back. Here you can see the size difference between the adults and these babies. I'm going to go ahead and fill up its water dish here, see if I can do this with the camera. I give them a water dish, and for the babies, uh, especially the younger babies, I like to just feed off of the sand. I don't see that as an issue. Um, I also give them this cup top with a little notch in it so that they have a place to hide and they have frequently uh, visit that spot. But you can see, hopefully I can put my finger here and you can see the size difference of these little teeny tiny geckos. Again, this one was born just a couple of days ago. And here are two that were born 10-22 um, of 2018. Let's see if I can get a finger in so you can see the size difference there. I'll go ahead and add some water to, to their dish. And let's see if we can throw some mealworms in and see the meat. Usually takes them a, a second or two to notice the mealworms.
A couple of tips with these very small babies. Feed them every single day. Um, one thing that I notice with these guys is that they really, really uh, grow quickly if they're fed every single day. Give them the proper size food. Uh, we start these guys out with uh, the smallest mealworms that we can find. I keep a, a red, readily supply of mealworms available uh, in the right sizes for these guys uh, so they always have a meal available. Another tip is to give them these little hides with a little notch out and give them very very small dishes, water dish and a, a food dish. We Again we normally feed in the food dish but I wanted to get a a shot of these guys eating but it's as simple as that I, I feel they're one of the cutest geckos out there and I hope you do too again these are viper geckos sometimes called turnip tail geckos or carrot tail geckos thank you for watching again this is Wally Kern with Supreme Gecko